I'm getting back to doing reactions. I took a break for a bit. Uh, if you follow my channel, you would have seen I did a community post. Basically, I got very sick for a very, very long time. And I was waiting for my voice to recover before starting to do reactions because I didn't want to have to hold back and be careful of my voice while doing this. My voice is not 100 percent, but I really want to watch this show. It's just I've been watching like friends of mine, like Bodhi from Just Somebody's Opinion or, or like Ali and Gus from Wheel Takes start to do reactions to this. And I'm like, I want to watch the show. I've been waiting. So I haven't watched anything. I know nothing or OK, I, I know a little bit. I'm assuming that that big white guy there, that that's Percy. Uh, I'm assuming I think it's something to do with Greek gods, Percy Jackson and the Olympians. That feels like that's what that is. Uh, I'm assuming magic is involved because, you know, he's got a sword that usually means magic. Uh, and um, I think I've heard that the main character, so Percy, I guess, is dyslexic. And what else do I know? Um, oh, pen that turns into a sword. That might be a thing because one of my students said that during playtime. I couldn't bring myself to tell like a five year old during playtime. No spoilers. So, you know, I think there's a pen that turns into a sword. And I think uh, uh, that like actually just looking at this poster, I'm actually fairly certain that it's true just because I know what the Internet is, that there was a certain segment of the fandom that was upset because of the brown people, uh, but that the author uh, was like, shut up, stop it. I like these actors. So that's that's my level of knowledge about this story. I'm going in fairly blind. So I will just say preemptively, if you have read the books, if you're a big fan, please do not put spoilers in the comments. I don't like spoilers. So, you know, please be careful of that. But yeah, I guess uh, without further ado, let's let's get into this show. Let's be nerdy with let's be nerdy. Let's be nerdy with let's be nerdy. Really behind. I saw when I was hitting play. There's five blood I didn't episodes want to out. Be half blood. Half blood. You're dealing with like a Harry Potter situation. Dangerous. Because once you know what you are, my guesses are like he's a half blood to. god. I mean, if I remember it, I don't know much about Greek mythology. I don't remember, but there was a lot of you know you. things going on between gods and humans, right? So that's what he's talking. If you think he might be a half god, what's going on? <laughs> Epic instrumental music. Sorry, <laughs> the subtitles always crack me up. At least. Sworn I saw something. Does this pl take place in like a regular city? There is a Pegasus on that building. It happened again. Okay, so These we've got school uniforms. Wait, that what? Felt like they what? Right is that? It's like an armored hippo or armored, armored rhinoceros? So, and then the next. I'm thinking New York. Because we got school uniforms. Then something changed. We had a lot in common. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I have a bit of a thing with drawings in uh, shows. Drawings that are supposed to be done by kids, because usually you can very clearly tell you know that they're drawn by adults. That both. wasn't bad. Those actually looked like kids' drawings. They were imaginary. Weird, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the tiny whiteies on the Minotaur. Until the day that wow. Changed. Yeah. Okay. New York. We got the map. Okay. Figure out what where we you are. See, you see here. And. Describe it. Okay, Not yeah, I was right about this. How it looks. Dyslexic. That's like, like that's the how it makes most of my feel. students are dyslexic right now. Hmm? So I work with children okay, with come. dyslexia. Not the five-year-old who uh, <laughs> told me about the pen that turns into a sword. It was a different student. Who's your hero? Because he kills monsters. It's framing. They've like cut off the mom's what head. And they've got, and this, is that Apollo mom. holding somebody's head? Oh. placed in a wooden chest and cast out into the sea. Wait, she said that's I'm Perseus. I don't know why I'm saying it. Paula. Paula. Mom? I'm right here, sweetie. Mommy's here. Uh, that was Mr. Jackson. Good. <laughs> you understand me? Me? Do you understand me? He can't help Is that? his dogs. That's, um... He's special. Oh, wow, what's her name? What's her name? Oh, it's Karen from Will and Grace, but she has another name, mind. and I can't remember it. I love her. When you're ready to ah! hear what the oh, drive me crazy. In store for you, <laughs> I believe in you. And I believe Megan... you'll be needing I, Oh, I gotta focus. I gotta focus. Not the pen that turns into a sword. One thing I know about bullies is that you should never 
ever stand up to them. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's right. not right, Rover, exactly. Look. Okay. Here. Oops. Yeah. What you should do is tell Mercy. a teacher and actually deal with the situation. Whoa! 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 So this is real. This wasn't a fancy fantasy. Yes, that is the pen. It's only a matter of time before we found you. Oh, this is uh not good. There is it. Is she like a harpy or something? Did he just kill her? <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Give him some room, please. What? It, 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 did, it, did a teacher just vanish? Percy. Does Rover know? By that name. Wait. All right, class. Let's move along. Let's go. Really? You would arguing with Miss Boba Fett, yet you have Boba offered Fett? no explanation for how she ended up. Is in her that name mountain. seriously Boba Other Fett? I didn't touch Nancy. Okay. Yeah. There you go. I do. Does Grover know? I feel like Grover knows. He wanted to get back at Nancy for all she'd done to us. Grover? What? And he isn't being truthful about what happened at the fountain. Grover. What Excuse is going on, Grover? You didn't. I mean, he's not lying, but also, what the hell? Yes. Okay, now he's lying. He might have might actually think that's what he saw, but what the hell, man? What the hell? Do you want to tell me what you think did happen? Okay. You can tell me. I might just understand. So, like, he touched her with some sort of power, right? Okay, so it's a private school. I was assuming it was just like a regular school in New York. His family either has money or a scholarship student. I was assuming he Welcome lived with his home. mom. My mom home from work. Oh, okay, his mom is there. Okay. If you're gonna live under my roof, you gotta live by my rules. Your roof? I my was mom just is about to say. Here. Excuse me. I feel like that's. I yeah. have. Okay, so she oh, does. I was a little afraid it was I'm gonna sorry, get told to her by that dude whose name I forget. I found Gabe on the phone with Gabe. the headmaster. Okay. Something else you want to talk about? Hmm. Or about Mrs. God? Sandwich, not if you're gonna ask like that. I said please. Okay, I need to know why she's with this guy who is just please. awful. He's literally no redeeming please. qualities. Explain this to me, please. It's like the go. main mystery I of the show it. to me right now. So she literally took him to the beach in a thunderstorm. What? This has to be a dream. Before you get hurt. That uh, is a ring wraith out there in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, okay, it was a dream. Why was a dream? But she literally did bring yeah. him to the beach in the rain. One. Two. Oh, you <laughs> cheater. Cheater. What did she say to you? Oh. Okay, so she. Like, she? How did. Yeah. How did you know? You fell in love with God? No. <laughs> like, oh uh, God. Like, like Jesus? Yes. Not your God. I'm a mud, a, a nun. Person. I'm a nun. <laughs> We're called demigods, and sometimes they are known as half blood. Ooh, demigod. Okay, he's a half blood demigod. That's what the monster called me, Mom. Yeah. What an age, and they begin. To understand what they are, okay. terror drawn to them, driven to harm them before they can become strong. So how did she know back. it was a she that first? Is what? Like, how did she know about that? There is no such thing as demigods. That's Who's there? Unfortunate. Jack, Grover. Grover. Oh, Grover! I asked how the night. You said we could all leave in the morning. Sorry, okay, so really Grover not, really does know. I knew it. I knew it. Hear it, Grover, Percy. Okay, so something's coming. Feet? I know, that sounds really bad. Grover. Uh, something's something wrong with his feet? Okay. Grover, right? I'm also definitely not panicking. I feel pan down, pan panicking. down, pan the camera Grover, down. What? Grover, why is there half a goat in your pants? Oh, it's 
pan the camera down. Oh my oh. god, he's pan. Oh boy, she yeah. Why is there a goat in your pants? You oh thing. lord. God, so providing a support system is really. Who are you? How old are I'm you, Grover? Grover? I'm a fun. A satyr, okay. I'm your a protector. Satyr. Because now would have found you there easily. All right. I forgive I'm you, sorry. Grover. It'll probably take a bit of time for Percy. Usually I can sense that you're coming you. off your... You told him about camp, right? Camp? Not Ooh, is that like a demigod no. camp? All right. Yeah. Seven, you told me. Okay. That's what's chasing that. Them. He's, relentless. He's wearing underpants. Is he wearing underpants? He is wearing underpants. Holy the fuck. Magic cards <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. That, that was my question about how old he was. He's 24. Uh, that horn is not a good thing. They get sucked onto the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's bad. Okay. Save yourself, kind of. I'm a little worried about the people who hit the Minotaur. He's like goat. He's gonna have good traction. Be able to, yeah. Okay. Save the mom. I was a little worried he's about to walk off without her. Yeah. Mom's name is Sally. Thank you, subtitles. You will leave, but will all of us be safe? She probably can't cross, right? Because she's human. I swear. Oh, Minotaur survived the crash. Again, I'm a little worried about the other car. Yes. Listen to me. She full named him. That's are not listen when your mom broken. full names you. I love you. That's why she was crying in the car. I guess it's like she she knew she was gonna have to leave him. Alright, get going. Get going. At once. Maybe I can confuse him, buy us both a little time to get away. Mom, oh, I hope she survived. No! Ah! Percy, go! Okay. He can't stick around. The Minotaur is coming. That crashing noise! Go! 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 Why the hell is it so big? I do find it funny that the Minotaur is wearing underpants. Like, why? Oh my god, it's this red coat, too! Oh, let's go. Alright. <laughs> What are those called? The Matador? <laughs> Being a Matador for a Minotaur. No, 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 Percy, no, no. go the other way! Go the other way! <laughs> Percy, go the other way! Come on! The fuck? No! Just, did her mom just, did his mom just die? Oh my god. And there's the. Yep! <laughs> wow. Instinct? Okay. Turn around, because it's getting up. It's getting up, Percy. Turn around. Oh, oh, oh! Your sword! Your sword! Your sword! Get your sword! That glows. That's handy. It stopped blowing. That's not handy. <laughs> He's riding a minotaur. <laughs> All right. I'm very sad about his mom, though. The hell? He just stabbed a minotaur with its own horn. Wow. He must be the one. The one? Okay, we got a chosen one situation. Just give him some space, please. Is that the teacher? Camp. Yes, yes, it is. It is the teacher. Hmm. That's pretty. This means the credits. Yes, it is. They're pretty credits. But I'm gonna stop them. Okay, so. He's sad about his mom. I, I, she kind of disappeared into mist. Although so did the Minotaur. I was gonna say maybe like she's not dead. Maybe she got taken to another dimension or something, and he can get her back. 
but the Minotaur also did. But also, maybe then the Minotaur got taken to another dimension then? It's not like they don't die, maybe they go to like another, not dimension, I, I, I don't know, realm I guess would be the word you're using when we're talking about gods and, and things like that. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So everything, like that, that was a spoiler for me, has been revealed in the first episode. It's like the sword that turns into a pet or a pen that turns into a sword, that he's an uh he's a god, we've got Greek gods and things like that. So I think I'm in the clear now. I think from here on out, I know nothing. I, I am intrigued by this story. I'm very, very sad about his mom. Like, oh, I, okay. I'm hoping right now that, yeah, it wasn't a death that she's just somewhere else and that maybe that would be like a driving force of the season of him going to get his mom back and now i'm thinking about her i'm also now thinking about the dude uh gabe i think his name was i don't like him i don't know why she was with him because she seemed pretty cool and he's a loser and that's not good <laughs> so i don't know what's going on there but okay i know that's probably not the mystery of the show but i i don't know but okay, so we are we are set to go, and that is that is my prediction right now. That the mate like he's gonna you know go into this camp. How would you go into like? We're I'm assuming it's supposed to be a fun, interesting show. Like oh, you know, it was a book for kids, and you would have like a very very depressed character if they just watched their mom die. So I'm assuming I my guess hmm, is it will be revealed very early that his mom is not dead that she's in another realm so that that will be a push throughout the season that is my prediction right now for the show based on literally just otherwise realistically i mean it it's a thing it's a disney show even they have to have dead parents so even if they're dead i guess it wouldn't be completely out of the realm of possibility because that's just a it's a trope <laughs> like Kids, especially kid stories, you gotta get them away from the responsible adults at a certain point so that they can have these adventures. So often they kill parents. Very, very sad. But okay, so that's my prediction. But anyway, uh, if you're a big fan of the show, uh, or books, as I said, please do not spoil me. Please don't put spoilers in the comments. But uh, yeah, what are your thoughts on the adaptation? Like, how well do you think it's doing? Do you think it is true to the story of the books or like to the spirit of the books? Like, I'm a huge Wheel of Time fan and I know that there are huge differences between the book and the show because i've read those books dozens of times and yet i think that the show is very true to the spirit of the book so even if there are differences i think that there can be uh it can still be a true like adaptation even if there are differences although i think i saw like i when i saw the credits that the author whose name i am now forgetting it's like reardon or something it is also a writer on the show so you know there's that uh continuity happening there not possible with wheel of time sadly because Robert Jordan has passed away. So, uh, but anyway, let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments below. And if you like my content and you want to support me, I do have a Patreon that is also linked in the description below. As I say every single time, a huge thank you to my patrons, especially recently as I've been just recovering from this, whatever it was. I mean, I know what some of it was, but whatever, that just knocked me on my ass. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for your continued support. And uh, with that, I am gonna end this here. So please like, subscribe, and I'll see you for episode two. Bye.